modern machines, including various types of loads, are driven independently by electric motors. Some of the applications of push-button control of motors are in lifts, cranes, workshop machinery, paper, textile and steel mills, cement factory, etc. The operation of a single motor or a number of motors in these applications are done by pressing push buttons. Control operation includes starting, stopping, reversing the direction of rotation, braking, speed control, sequence starting, etc. The different components used are contactors, overload relays, timers, limit switches, push buttons, etc. Depending on the requirement of the driven load, control circuits are designed and fabricated and installed. For continuous trouble-free operation, it is also necessary to maintain and in case of any fault, read existing control circuits, find fault and undertake repair. A technician engineer employed in manufacturing industry or in application centers is required to have knowledge of basic principle of design fabrication of control circuits as per requirement of load. On the basis of this job requirement of technician engineers, the subject of electrical design and drawing of motor control circuits has been included as a subject in the Polytechnic curriculum. Before you start learning details of motor control circuit, we would like you to see, through this film, some of the related industries dealing with design and fabrication of motor control circuits. We are standing in front of Vartya Cutler Hammer, Faridabad Works. I am A. Ghosh, General Manager Works. In this factory, we manufacture switch gears and motor control gears for low tension circuit. Our products are contactors of various ranges starting from 6 amps to 900 amps, thermal overload relays, starters, timers and uh, push buttons, limit switches. We also make 
MCCs, that is motor control centers and power control centers, switchboards, and some of our special products are punch grid registers and high duty, rather heavy duty brakes like DC brakes up to 30 inch diameter. We employ a large number of engineers in this factory who come from the various polytechnics and engineering colleges. We consider them to be our main resource. They help us in maintaining our quality and productivity. Thank you. I am Tushar Kumar Chandra, passed my electrical diploma from Central Polytechnic Chandigarh and set up this small industry named Electrotech Engineers at Chandigarh. We are engaged in manufacturing of LT control panels and switchboards and supplying to various industries like paper mills, chemical industries, engineering industries and various state luxury boards. You have seen a diploma holder entrepreneur running a control panel fabrication industry. I'm SP Goel. I did my diploma from Thapar Engineering College, Patiala, and then I did AMI from Institution of Engineers, Calcutta. I'm working here as a quality assurance manager. We are manufacturing motor control centers, power control centers, control instrumentation panels, bus traps, and other accessories which goes into the panel. We, we have about 40 diploma holders and 20 graduate engineers who are working here as supervisors and engineers. This is the control section of Hindustan Machine Tools Pinjor. Control panels, as per design of various machines, are fabricated here. You just had a glimpse of different industries related to design and fabrication of motor control circuits for various applications. We will now show you a few places where automatic control operation is achieved through the use of appropriate control circuits. This is the soft drink bottling plant where all the operations starting from cleaning to filling of bottles are done through automation. Here around 350 bottles are filled and crowned per minute. These filled bottles are moved further with the help of a conveyor belt. In this continuous movement, if any of the bottles falls, there is subsequent jostling of bottles and then the plant stops automatically. This stopping operation is achieved with the help of a limit switch which cuts off the supply to the motors. Before filling the cold drink syrup, the empty bottles are cleaned with water jets. The dirty bottles are taken into the cleaning chamber.
The pump motors pump water through jets under high pressure and are individually controlled. The clean bottles are then taken to the filling machine for filling of syrup. The movement of bottles can be controlled by pressing push buttons. All the control operations you have just seen are achieved through use of appropriate motor control circuits which include components like push buttons, overload relays, contactors, limit switches, time delay relays, etc. is the milk plant where filling of milk packets is done automatically. This is the control panel which houses the control circuitry. The regulator controls the time of flow of milk and hence the volume of milk can be adjusted. The milk packets are made from continuous polythene rolls which are first sealed vertically. After filling the required quantity of milk, horizontal sealing is done. The control panel governs all automatic operations. Let us now see the automatic processing of raw material in a woolen mill. The laps of cleaned wool are taken for making woolen balls. When the woolen ball acquires full weight, the machine stops by itself, the ball comes up and is taken aside. This operation is achieved with the help of appropriate electrical control circuit. Here the control circuits are designed such that when any one of the lap breaks, the system stops. This is the combing machine, where the raw material is combed and cleaned.
Here also, if the lap breaks, the operation stops. The machine is restarted after joining the lap. Progressive states have already incorporated study of motor control circuits as a compulsory subject in their polytechnics. While we were at Faridabad, we went to YMCA Institute of Engineering and had the occasion to visit their motor control lab. I. Chandigarh helped various states in revising their curricula and had introduced study of motor control circuits in the subject called electrical design and drawing. To improve the efficiency and effectiveness of teaching and learning in the polytechnics, instructional material and training boards have been developed at TTTI and have been supplied to many institutes. We wanted to show you the relevance of studying motor controls through this video film. This is a very interesting subject and we are sure you will enjoy studying this subject.